Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Somebody here? Somebody here? It's anybody here? Oh, good hello. evening. Oh, good evening. Hello, hello. Why are you hello. quiet? Yeah, I was asking somebody here. I felt like Titanic with Rose and Jack. <laughs> Is someone here? We <laughs> a survivor. Yes, I'm here. Okay, I'm happy to see you. How are you today? Good. A little bit tired, but I'm here. Okay, do you already have your lunch? Yes. Nice. What do you have for lunch? Beans and eggs with chicken. <laughs> nice. That's good. That's you not your recipe for today because it was a lunch for for my lunch and I decided to eat it for, for the dinner too. Oh my gosh. So it was lunch dinner at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. That's good. Do you, what do you drink? I'm drinking herbal tea. Oh, that's good. So, but it's yeah. hot or is it cold? It's hot. Oh, no. Nice. But it's, I mean, it's not hot where you are? Yes, and I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but that's but good. I don't mind. <laughs> okay, this is like when, for example, it's like, say, typical from Salvadoria that we take our soup, chicken soup, even though it's so hot. So and we're sweating yeah. and we're like still eating it. So. Chicken soup for the soul. <laughs> uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. But, <laughs> that's typical for Salvadorian people. Yeah. <laughs> and with the coffee too. Yes, we, we, we do that. It's very hot, but the coffee, don't miss. It's a must. We need to drink it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Tradition. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I, I drank my cup of coffee today. Well, I took a cup of coffee and it was cold. So, uh, unfortunately. And you made it. Yeah, but the thing is that. In the blender, eaten, no. Yeah, I put some ice cream, coffee. It was basically a, a frappuccino. Yeah, frappuccino. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It was, I put everything on it. It was good. I, I don't regret about it. But I prefer yeah, it's, it's very refreshing. Coffee. Mm -hmm. but I prefer hot yeah yeah oh, okay <laughs> but let's just start with everybody and uh, let's say hello Luisito, Silvia, Peter, Carlita, Esmeralda, Jonathan, Emily and Rosio uh, first of all thank you for being connected on time remember that we are almost in the last days of this content of this module uh, actually this is session number 23rd well, I'm sorry, 23. So, pom, 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 pom. I really need your help with the homework. If something is missing, let me know. Text me and I'm going to help you. So, let's just start with this, with this class. Let me just ask you a fast question. What do you remember about yesterday? Pa -da -pa -pa, pa -da -pa -pa, pa -da -pa -pa. Oh, this Uh -huh. What do you remember about yesterday? We were talking about um, technologies, old uh -huh. technologies and, and new technologies, gadgets. Uh, we show a lot of uh, things we have uh, in the keep in, the, in our houses. Uh -huh. uh, some of, of us are collectors, by the way. That's right. Yeah, completely right. <laughs> Uh -huh. What else? Yes, and we were talking about the uh, different uses of of, of gerunds mm -hmm. and infinitives. For with, example, uh, for example, with the stop, with um, stop, try, mm -hmm. and forget, and I don't remember the last word. But we were talking about the, how to use when uh, you have to use the gerund and when you use um, an, uh, an infinitive be, uh, okay. after that word. 
Okay, super good. Excellent, Luisito. Silvia, what else do you remember? Mm. Okay, well, I remember I talk about a uh, gerund in the past. Uh -huh. For example, I was finished my my homework and I stopped I stopped to check my cell phone. I think. <laughs> Excellent. Super good. What else? What else? Uh -huh. Somebody else can give me another example or idea. Uh huh. Any other information? And um, I and I talk about many device. For example, the little cell phone can you use in the past, and radio calculator, and whatever thing in the past. Yes. Oh. Perfect. Uh -huh. What objects do do you remember from yesterday that your partners were showing? Do you remember any specific gadget? No, maybe. For example, do you, do you remember the gadgets that we were talking about? CD player, uh -huh. Discman, uh -huh. old cell phone. Uh -huh. The record, new generation cell phone. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. What else? Um, the big radio of the boom bo boom box excellent mm -hmm. uh -huh. what else remember and that Lisito CD. was and what about Lisito's device he was showing two devices a camera a digital camera uh-huh and and a gopro <laughs> uh -huh. so, uh, well i think that was in the in, in the break room we uh -huh. we we uh -huh. no, she, he he showed us a uh, uh -huh. GoPro that he had really? that was very cool. Yeah, Luisito, do you have a GoPro? Uh, actually, no, it's a it's a sport camera, but but it's Chinese. Ah, interesting. But do you adapt to like your backpack or something? Uh, yeah, if I have an adapter for my helmet, for example, Ooh, with a holder. Oh, interesting. That sounds good. I want to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> the other the, the other device I was showing was a, a radio. A radio. Uh -huh, with the Coke, right? Yes. Like a Coke? With the shape of a can. Uh -huh, a uh -huh. can of Coke. That's right. And you mentioned that it was not working anymore, right? Excuse because me? You mentioned that it's not working anymore, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Not, so it, it, I, I remember because I said I like it. <laughs> mm. What about Rosalba? What was the the device or the gadget or the what she showed us about the past? It was like this. She showed us something like I think like this one. Do you remember what was it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Really, it was like this size. Silvia, Lucito. No? No, no one can remember. <laughs> <laughs> it is a small, it is for kids. A toy, a car. Okay, well, okay, what kind of toy? A car. Okay, very good. Race, race car, I, I think it was. For whole wheels. That was for Salvador. Yes, Salvador. Ah, yeah. uh -huh, but for Rosalba, what was the object? A Lego. Yeah, it was a Lego. Very good. And she mentioned something about the Lego. What was the, what she mentioned? Mm, I'm not sure, but I think it was a gift from her grandmother. No. <laughs> no, it was a gift from, from her aunt when she was when she was a child. <laughs> ah, yes, true. that was true. Okay, what about Sylvia? Did she show us something yesterday? Sylvia, don't give the answer. Just I want to make sure. <laughs> <And she's> like, <laughs> what was the object that she showed us yesterday? Bum, 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 bum. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> really, you don't remember? Okay, Sylvia, give the answer. No, just that I don't, I don't represent any objects because I don't have in my current house. Okay, she didn't. Ah, it was a tricky question, guys. Oh my God, what about Maurice? What was his object? She, he didn't have any because in his house there's no equal to Sylvia. The same? Uh, is it true, Mauricio? Yeah, but but at the moment of the cloud, I I showed um, a wallet, but but after when 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 we have to to show any device. Uh -huh. or, or something like that. I, I, I don't show anything because I, 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 I don't have any gadget or, or all the buys okay. over here. <laughs> okay, so I'm checking your pay attention. What about uh, the object that showed Peter? Peter was quiet yesterday. <laughs> Is it true, Peter? You didn't show anything? Yes, I didn't show anything because I don't have nothing old in my house. Okay. But in uh -huh. but we were talking about the i the iPod, the first iPod. And somebody was talking about the Walmart. Walmart's that's right. Walmart. Yes, Walmart. Walmart. Okay. Walmart. Okay. The last Walmart. question. Ah, uh -huh. you see, I pay attention. I'm checking you. So the last question. What was the object that was shown by? Caesar. Don't give the answer, Caesar. Don't give the answer. Uh -huh. What was the object that was given by show by Caesar? The little alert. Uh -huh. And the camera. Excellent. And what else? Uh, only that I remember. Okay, Caesar, is it true? How many objects did you show yesterday? I remember he shows an MP4. Uh huh. Well, do you know how many objects at the end? Two. There was two objects. Two, two gadgets. Two gadgets? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just trying to remember. He <laughs> shows an, an MP4. Okay. okay. I don't remember MP4. MP4 or oh, MP3, MP4? What? what Sylvia said? The little alarm. Alarm and a, a camera. Excellent. So at the end, there were three objects, guys. You had to pay attention. Okay, so let's move a little bit. Yesterday, we were talking about the past, but today we're going to think about tan, 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 the future. So let me show you some things related with the future. So we can imagine that we are living in that year. Okay. So let me know if you can see mm. my screen, please. Boom, 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 boom. Can you see my screen? Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, so pay attention to the gadgets. I'm gonna ask you about it. Are you ready to upgrade your life with some of the coolest tech you've ever seen? Hold on to your hats because we are about to blow your mind with these amazing new pieces of tech. This new boating device will let you sail the seas like never before. A new safety device will let you escape your vehicle in the event of an emergency. This e-scooter can traverse any terrain you can imagine. And this helmet will help you stay focused even during difficult work days. Stratosfera Aquatica Stratosfera Aquatica is an all-new way to travel around the ocean, giving you all the luxury and comfort of an automobile in a two-seater vehicle that can glide across the water much smoother than a boat. Each Stratosfera Aquatica can seat two people and can be controlled very similarly to a boat, meaning there is a very low learning curve for new drivers. Two propellers push this vehicle along, allowing you to easily maneuver it around the water. The cockpit is air and water sealed while the vehicle is in motion, However, when you come to a stop, you can easily open the hatch to enjoy the fresh air and cooling breeze of the water. 
You can also adjust the speed of the vehicle quite easily, allowing you to take a slow cruise across the open water or jet through the ocean like a sporting boat. The choice is yours. We don't know how much the Stratosfera Aquatica will cost just yet, but we hope to hear more about this amazing piece of technology very soon. That is not part. Okay, so. Inmo Air. Inmo Air glasses overlay computerized information over the real world. It is a safe and smart wearable technology that features a powerful processor, side HD camera, advanced optical zoom, and gesture control for hands-free communication and information sharing. Use GPS to navigate the world around you. You can set your destination and see detailed directions right in front of you. Make a video or snap a photo. You can see the world from a first-person point of view without touching your phone. You can listen to music and view the lyrics from the lens. For volume adjustment or playback control, swipe the Inmo Air touchpad. Communicating with the outside world has never been so easy. All it takes is a click of a button and Inmo Air will take care of your daily schedule as your personal assistant. All your memos and notes will be displayed in augmented reality. You can pick up an Inmo Air for just $439 on Indiegogo. Shine This is a portable wind turbine that is able to harness the power of the wind and convert it into electrical energy. This is an amazing new device that could, quite possibly, change the world. It has a built-in battery that is able to store enough energy to charge up to four phones completely. It will work in almost any windy condition, including winds from 8 to 28 miles per hour. Though what's really interesting is that the device is portable and can fit in any ordinary backpack. This means you can charge up your phone or other gadget no matter where you are in the world using nothing but wind. The entire device weighs less than 3 pounds. When you're able to use it, you can set up Shine in as little as 2 minutes. Shine is not currently available for sale, but we expect it to launch soon. Shine is available now on Kickstarter for just $290. Crown this remarkable device known as Crown can help you stay focused while you work so that you can be more productive throughout the day. This device will mute any notifications from your smartphone and stimulate your brain so you can get work done like never before. Better yet, you could even wear it while gaming so that you can remain hyper-focused when playing competitively. This device will guide you into a flow state and help you stay in the zone. Each device is packed with technology to keep things running smoothly. There are 8 EEG sensors and 2 haptic motors built right in. An NFC chip is also built in for all of your NFC-enabled devices. There is a 1.8 GHz processor and a 400 MHz coprocessor, as well as 8 GB of flash storage. You can use the device for up to 3 hours at a time before you need to recharge it. Mural Canvas 2 if you're looking for a great way to add a bit of artwork to your home, Mural Canvas is an amazing new way to display your favorite artwork or photos. The base model of this frame is a 16 by 24. There is a seemingly endless library of stock images you can choose from. More than 30,000 works of art are available with a Mural membership, or you can simply add your own images. This is a digital smart frame that allows you to upload images directly from your computer using a Wi-Fi connection. It offers a wooden screen and an HD display that supports images up to 1080p. You will no longer have to go to the store to buy expensive artwork to hang on the wall. You can easily change images using the smartphone app, personalize your display times, adjust your voice controls, or many other things using the easy-to-use app. This canvas can be found on Amazon for $499. Octave You've probably seen a Tumbulum before. It sounds amazing and is very imaginative in its construction. This DIY musical instrument is made from a variety of tubes and PVC pipes. It could take the shape of an octave, a musical instrument that can be worn like a harness and give us those cool Dr. Otto Octavius vibes. Designed by Asaph Weinberg, the one-off musical instrument is purely out of the realm of cool DIY stuff that you do not want to miss out on. The octave, like the tumbulum, is made of PVC pipes that lead to six pads that produce sound like a set of drums. This whole thing is attached to a harness that allows you to move with it. This device isn't currently for sale, but we'd love to see them hit the market soon. Atmos 
Atmos is a surprisingly easy way to pump up all of your many sporting balls. Or you could even use it as a vacuum to compress any seal and save clothing bags you may have laying around. The battery will last for a total of 60 minutes. For most balls, it only takes about 3 minutes to fully inflate them. You can also vacuum seal many items of clothing in just 3 minutes as well. This means you won't need to delay your game if your ball happens to go flat, nor will you have to spend hours vacuum sealing your clothing or other fabrics. This means you'll have enough power to inflate 25 balls on just one charge or vacuum several other items for storage. You can find the Atmos Portable Pump on Amazon for just $29. WYN Bullet Have you ever thought about what may happen if you get trapped inside your vehicle while underwater? How do you plan on getting out? This device will break your car's window with one simple tap, helping you to escape from your vehicle in the event of an emergency. If you ever get locked out of your home and have no other option, you could even use it to bust a window of your home. If you notice someone in distress in their vehicle, you could even use it to pull them from the car. There are countless uses for the WYN Bullet, and it can be yours right now for just $33 on Indiegogo. Okay, so let me ask you. Okay, we have different kinds of devices. I need that you work with your partner and you're gonna ask which devices of these ones do you consider you very useful and which the other devices or gadgets are the opposite. What is the opposite for useful? Useless. Okay, very good. So which devices are useless? So remember, the two questions are, which devices do you consider useful and which devices do you consider useless? You're gonna have four minutes to talk with your partner and to discuss, but just let me double check. Uh, let's see, uh, Cesar, Kaylin, Kaylin, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, Carlita, Mauricio, Peter, and Rosie, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Thank you for the camera, Peter. I really appreciate it. Alicia, Esmeralda, Salvador, Jenny, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's see, Jonathan, Roxanne. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jonathan, Roxanne, and Sylvia, are you there? Yes, teacher. And Roxanne? Yes, I'm here, yes. Okay. With my camera a few minutes, please. Okay, very good. And uh, Luis, Maylin, and Rosalba. Okay, Maylin, yeah, okay, thank you. Rosalba and Luis, are you there? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's go. Remember, four minutes discuss useless and useful devices. Let's go. I want to hear you talking, guys. Talking time. Rosalba? Rosio? David? Hello, Esmeralda? Rosalba? Rosalba, are you there? Yes, we have to discuss about what are the devices that are useful and what are useless. The devices that we saw in the video. Yes, I can't remember the, all of the devices there or at least the names. Can you? No, neither I. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we need. Maybe we needed to do a summary. <laughs> so, 
yes. But I, I, I think that the, at the end, the objective is to, to discuss about the kind of devices that can be useful and useless. So maybe we can talk about um, the devices you know. And yeah, what do you think these are? Okay, um, it's curious. It's a maybe it's a new technology, uh, good for air pressure, a, a big pressure, and maybe you will get up the sky and inside of a lake or river. Uh, so interesting but maybe it's dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what are the names of those? I don't remember. Yes. How many of yeah. us are there? Are here? Do you, do you use some device like that? Uh, sorry? Do you use a similar device? A, simi a, similar, a similar device is what? That's about some gadgets that they were useful or useless. The, the one I think it's useful. I didn't catch the name, but it was like a device, a really small device that you can inflate like a balloon or maybe a mattress, not an air mattress. And you can vacuum like for, for safe food or in the fridge, you know, like okay. yeah, to, to the emptiness, al vacío, <laughs> let's say. So uh, that's what I like, but I didn't watch every, all of them because I entered late. And the useless, it was one like, it was called like octop something because it looks like an octopus, but it was made like a PVC. It was used like an instrument, like, I, I think like it was a bag. I understood that. I'm not really sure, but I think it was the useless. It was the okay. the, the technology, one. the technology improved in your in your life, right? Yes, yes. So of course, it's improving okay. our life, <laughs> and it's really the, necessary. The, the video, the videos was talking uh, about like inventions. inventions. Ah, the like invention. Okay. Yes, yes. Maybe for for sale. One of them, it was like a mirror, but it could be like a screen and you can project through it um, a picture, um, a photograph, a draw, anything okay. you like. But I, I feel that it was too, it was good, but it was too expensive. I listened like $499 and wow. say it's too much for, for that. Maybe I, I I better acquire a TV. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's the same picture. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, right now we had a lot of invention, but sometimes many invention yes. is very useful. But yes. uh, a little Some kind of invention is not useful for your life, for the routine. Yes. I, the other, they call it, it was like a pen, but it was a bullet. And you can break the windows of your car in case of emergency. But <laughs> I was thinking, you know, um, it could be good for emergencies, but maybe some people could use it like for still stealing your <laughs> stealing your things oh inside the car. So <laughs> I don't think it's a good. Okay. Wow. Um, so I don't know where we are. We are in the main room or where? Yeah, <laughs> invitation we're in the main room. Okay, see you, Rosanna, in the main room. Bye bye.
Hello, give me one second, okay? okay. I'm going to bring a partner for you. Give me one second. Do, 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 do. Okay, bear with me. Salvador, are you there? <clears throat> Salvador. He's just a listener, I think. Ah, okay, okay. So partners that is the device is similar to Sterling, correct me, uh, cannot be, cannot be experienced, maybe. Uh, I didn't are... watch all of them, so maybe uh, it's the one I didn't watch, but tell me how, how, what, how it looks, how it functions. Cannot be. No, the one you are saying, the, the device you are talking about. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you were given an example, right? Oh. Or, <laughs> or was that from the video? Maybe it's a good idea for go to the to, to work every day. Which one, right? Caesar? I don't know. Uh, uh, a device that used the high pressure, high pressure up uh -huh, to yeah. other place. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't watch every, all of them, but uh, the one I liked, the, it was that, the, you can inflate something or vacuum some, the, like the bags with food. I like, I like that. No, oh, I yeah. think, I think it's a uh, air, air, uh, uh, high pressure for impulse in upstairs of the air, but uh, using the pressure of the air for up, up to you. But uh, yes. I think it's a device used in the lakes or river, maybe. Not a like double. <laughs> and yeah, that the crazy. other one, yeah, yeah, that. But that was interesting. The other one, it was like, um, let me see. I don't remember too much, but the ones that it's not, it's useless. Is the ball that travels through the ocean? I think that it's not like a big invent because i don't know the ocean is is very scary sometimes and if you are like inside of a ball well in my case i'm a claustrophobic so i didn't i i didn't want to use it if there's like an opportunity to go in no i will never do it <laughs> i don't know if you understand the meaning of that that ball in the ocean. Ball in the ocean. <clears throat> it's like a ship, but it's not <laughs> because it's too close. It's like a, a big ball that you can get in and travel through the ocean like windows and something like that with windows. No, but it's too small. Is 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 uh, it's too small to for me? Okay. Did you see Jurassic Park? The the but the the new generation that they yes. go inside a yeah. ball, a big ball, and travel to the jungle. But that's <laughs> yeah. the same, but in the ocean. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think that one of these gadgets could be real in the future? The glasses? 
I think they they will be interesting. And the other things, I don't know. I think that they are not useful. You know, I think well, that they can sound like a little bit weird, but if you if you can imagine like maybe 30 years ago, uh, the people never imagined yeah, that a maybe. camera can be so too small and even to be in a phone, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think that everything is possible. Yeah. The other thing that the, the other in, invent, it was a bullet. I don't know. I don't remember good the name, but you can crush the windows of your car if you are in danger. Of you, if you go down to to a lake and you 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 want to break break up the the window of your car, you can use it. But I think that for the price, I think it was 20, 29, 29 or something like that. But I don't know. I think it's it's not that an object that you use like every day, right? Just in case of an, an emergency. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. We finished, we finished this Friday, right? Yeah. Hello, hello. 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 Hey, let me ask you a quick question. What devices do you can you just list two or three devices that you consider that were very useful? Um, it's for anyone of or... not just uh yes, it's for anybody who wants to answer. Uh -huh. Okay, I think the the most useful is the shine, is the uh, all its charger. Uh -huh. I think that is the 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 the, the, the useful number one, uh -huh. and second place I think is the glasses. Okay. The smart glasses. I don't remember the the name, and and third place I think that the is the is the Canva, where that you can use like a like a screen showing photos or something like that. Uh huh. Like the the framework. Yes. Um, and at fourth place, I think is the the sphere, like because it's isn't like a is isn't available for self yet. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I think there is the the vacuum poker, mm -hmm. and then the last place is the the drums, <laughs> the drums with the <laughs> with the pipes. Definitely, it's useful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Somebody disagree about that? Somebody disagree? Or do you agree about that? The position that he gave? Yes, teacher is correct. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your, your point of view. <laughs> I agree with Louis. Okay. I agree with Louis. But I think that the la yeah, the last one, the, the octopus, I don't know. I didn't understand what it was the function of that. <laughs> and, it, and it looks weird. Yeah, this is basically to play music. <laughs> like you have to drum. Uh -huh. Yeah, basically that's it. If you go to any party, like yeah, they play. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> Ah, uh, they look like an octopus. Like you have you watched Spider Man? Yeah, that, Octavius. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, that's that one. So I, I was thinking about that. So let's do an activity, a game. But this is to remind you your childhood. Okay. So let me make sure. Can you raise your virtual hand? You can participate in the game. Can you please? Help me with your virtual hand, just to make sure that you can participate. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Everybody who can participate, raise your hand. Because some of you, you don't have a camera, so I need to make sure. So thank you, Peter. Thank you, Emer, Alicia. 
What about the others? Okay. Who else? Who else? Who else can participate in these videos? What about Salvador, Cisa, Catherine, David, Carlita, Meili, and Brazil? And... Okay. Thank you so much. So let me explain you now. You can put it down. Okay. So let me explain you the game. This is going to be tan, 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 tan. I think that, uh, can you please confirm me who is the new generation people? Some of you are less than 20 years old, right? Not me, teacher. <laughs> Not teacher, no. No? Somebody here? <laughs> twice, twice 20, teacher, <laughs> and, and more. <laughs> Times <laughs> twenty, like Shakira, double for two of twenty. Uh, somebody here is like 22, 21 or eighteen years old. Jonathan and Peter. Okay, so I think maybe you have watched a long time ago. <laughs> no, but we are in the second round. In my case, I'm almost fifteen years old. For two, but almost. Okay, we believe you. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, uh, you're going to read instructions, Jenny, the talkative Jenny. Hi, in today's quiz, you can find out how many classic cartoons you recognize. Okay, can you read instructions, Jenny? I guess the classic cartoon. Okay, so you see, you can, that comes to your mind something. The quiz will consist of 61 cartoons, and you will have five seconds. To okay, so read it, Salvador. Thank you. Yes, excellent. 61 cartoons, five seconds to answer. Very good, excellent. So let's continue. Wizard. Good luck. Okay, so <laughs> basically you have to, you're gonna see the pictures, you're gonna raise your virtual hand and you have to tell me the name of the cartoon. Okay, ready? Let's see who knows more. Pom, 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 pom. Let's see. Okay, Alicia. Alicia was the first one. Uh -huh. Yogi Bear. Okay, let's see. Yogi Bear. Woohoo! Okay, so let's take it. Ah, okay, so Luis. Little Lulu. Okay, let's go. Little Lulu. Uh -huh. Okay, Alicia, it's not Peter. Uh huh. Uh, super campeones, super champions. Okay, and Peter? <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> Okay, next, hands down. Okay, so. let me see. Ah, yeah, Luis. Felix the cat. Yes. Felix the cat. Okay, Peter. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Mauricio? <laughs> I forgot the name. Tiburon <laughs> Singh. Jabberjaw. Ah, Mandibuling. That's it. <laughs> Mandibuling. Mandibuling. Was... Okay, next. Hands down. Okay, Cesar. Uh, me, me. Don and Jerry. Okay, that's a classical one. Okay, there you go. Next. Tom and Jerry. Okay, Mo. Five, mm, four, yes, yes. three. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider no. Okay, Luisito. La Rosa de Guadalupe. <laughs> Spider-Man. Okay, very good, Luisito. Okay, next. Uy. Nobody? Uy. No. no. Okay, Cesar. Really? Anybody? Don Gato y su pandilla. Okay. Next. Sherlock Hound. No, no, next. Ow. Okay, hands down, Caesar. Hands down. Hands down. <clears throat> Lower your head. Okay, there you go. Caesar. I know. Uh, Louis, Louis, Louis. G -force. Five, four. G -force. Okay, Roxy. Five. Uh, first. Uh, Z-Force. Okay, Z. Z. Science Ninja Team Gatchaman. No, but thank you for your participation. <laughs> that's, but that's the name in, in, in Japan. And, yes, and United yes we have the we have the 
Latin American name. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, let's give it to Roxy and to Luis. Okay, next. Hands out. Okay, Luis. Me. Popeye. What is it? Popeye. Okay, listen. Popeye the Sailor Man. Yeah, there you go. Next, hands out. That was no, 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 no. Okay, next. Ah, okay. Uh, uh huh. Me. Pinky and brain. Pinky, Pinky and brain. Pinky cerebro. Okay, very good. That's for Samuel. Thank you, Samuel. But you have to be fast. You don't answer. It's going to be for the other person. Pinky and the brain. This is a classic. You should know. You should know. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. Pizza. Uh, what is it? Dragon Ball. Okay. Dragon Ball. Okay, there you go. Okay, the next one. Caesar, uh, you have the opportunity. Five. Four. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah, there you go, Caesar. Okay, next. Hands out. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Beetlejuice. Peter. Aquaman. Like, no, not that. Nice one. Hands out. Okay, it looks the same. Ah, wow, give me one second. 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 It doesn't count because you already see it. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Ma, ooh, hands down. See, sorry, hands down. Hands down. Okay, the last three. This it doesn't count. No, this it doesn't count. No, you already saw it. Okay. okay. The Jetsons. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. We have Luis. Uh -huh. I don't know Spanish. The con the con the Four, three, eh, Roxy. You well, no, but look at the patula, but I don't know it in English. Count okay. Dracula. Okay. He, he has... uh, in English. Okay. Someone, Count please. Dracula. Chocolate. Mm, no. Thank you. It's well the patula. Count Dracula. Yeah, that's for Peter. Peter Piper. There you go. <laughs> Next, the last two. Okay, Peter. Wait. Base no, symbol. wait. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. Alicia. 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 Fruits. Alicia. And veggies. <laughs> Salad, fruits. Fruities. And veggies. Fruities. Oh, yeah, it fruities. Fruities. Okay, the last, the last one. So you have to press it. Okay, Louis. Silver hot. Silverhawks. Mm, what do you think? Is correct or incorrect? I said Silverhawks. Correct. Okay, it that's correct. The one who got more points today was for Lewis. The plan for Lewis. So now somebody, do you watch a lot of cartoons when you were a child? Yes, yes, I watched um Caballero del Zodiaco. I don't know what's the in yes. English. That I oh. thought the zodiac something. Zodiac, yeah, zodiac. Mm, <laughs> um, oh, that's right. Uh huh. What else? <laughs> Teletubbies. Teletubbies. Scooby Doo. Okay. Inuyasha. Okay. Inuyasha. Dexter. Johnny uh -huh. Bravo. Bad Bunny. Run mine and a half. Bad Bunny. <laughs> Bad Bunny. <laughs> Thundercat. Oh, Thundercat. 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 Yes. Do you yeah, know next there? The Night of Zodiac. The Night. The night. Of uh, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Inuyasha. Uh -huh. Somebody, let me Candy. See. Somebody watched. Candy. Somebody watched. Uh, La Vejita Hodge. Excuse me? Yes. Somebody watched El Club de los Cerritos. El Club de los Cerritos. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, I saw it. Asinger Cera. Oh, for example, uh, but this was not cartoon. El, los juegos de la oca. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I see. Good. Channel 12. Yeah. Yes. Oh, let's see. <laughs> what is the other one that you didn't see but you remember? Cablam. Ah, Cablam. Uh -huh. The mm -hmm. other one? Nube Luz. <laughs> okay. I have here about Nube Luz. Uh -huh. What else? Heidi. Heidi. We have Heidi. We have Candy Candy. What else? Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. The one for Sakura card capture, yeah. Sakura uh -huh. card capture. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my Digimon. Medium. Digimon. Dig Digimon. Oh my gosh. I love Digimon. Digimon. I love yeah. Digimon too. The same for Pokemon, but yeah, this is ah, not Pokemon. A, this is not, but not the old ones, not the new ones. The new ones, uh, I don't like it. I like, I like more Digimon because it's more. I like Digimon human. when I only. Was 150 Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> she knew it. She really watched it. Yeah. So now let me ask you and change a little bit the activity because, yeah, we're going to talk about the past as well in the future. What is this? The matrix. The matrix. matrix. Okay. What is the idea for matrix? What, what was it about? In, in a, word. a chosen one who has to change to say the word okay and what was the 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 purpose of why was this picture about eliminate the virus okay nice so let's talk about uh, in mind that this is gonna be our future for everybody okay i need that you imagine uh, the war of salvador in 2050 we're ready <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, maybe, I don't know if they're going to be zombies or something like that, but this is a possibility. So let's see, how will be the war in 2050? In 2050, El Salvador will be, uh, I need that you use your imagination and think about what is happening right now in the war. If there are going to be trees, if there are not going to be trees, if there are going to be, uh, I don't know, uh, it's gonna be car flying like have you ever watched let me show you this one and you tell me what he said about give me one second let me show you i think that you have watched this one but just let me make sure okay uh the walking there ah <laughs> uh, uh, no no this one but let's see ah oh, give me one second okay okay this one let me play it. So you can get an idea. In other news, officials at the Pacific Nuclear Research Facility have denied the rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago. A Libyan terrorist group had claimed responsibility for the alleged theft. You're missing the big picture here. If time travel were possible, oh, that's a lie. What is that? It would be the greatest uh, ever in the conundrum of the modern age. Back to the future. You make your power. What would you do? I'm afraid with my kids. What would you change? Okay, I think that everybody or almost everybody have watched that movie, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, and what is it about the movie? Uh, the doctor create a travel. time machine. Uh huh. And they, they go back go to, to the future. The future. Travel of the time. Okay, so remember? Do you remember the things that they mentioned? For example, uh, they were a car flying. What else? The but hologram. So I will machine of time. Time machine. Sorry. Time machine. Uh huh. Holograms. And Salvador's like, what? what is that? Okay, <laughs> he's a new generation person. Okay, no, but I need your help. 
I need that everybody tries to remember that kind of situations. And you imagine El Salvador and you can imagine the war in 2050. So you have to give me an idea how it's gonna be or how do you see? For example, in my case, I think that in 2050, there will be no buses, there will be just cars. And it's gonna be electric car, electric cars like in the United States that I starting to use electric cars. So I need that you give me an idea. You're going to work with a partner, okay? You have four minutes to give me at least two or three ideas about how it's going to be the future, okay? Are you going to talk about the future or are you going to talk about a pet? Future. Pets in the future. Future. <laughs> are you going to Okay. In 2050 or like yesterday? 2050. Okay, so let's go. Let's talk about that, the future. Pets? You, you say pets or what? <laughs> yeah, I I was joking. I um uh how's gonna be the El Salvador in the future? Mm. It's very it's very difficult. Yes, but we had, lot, uh, we had a lot of social social problems. Yes, but uh, we, I wish, maybe it's I wish that it could be decentralized because everything is in the center, you know, this here in the capital. So I wish that maybe the, the El Salvador developed in other places, so. I think, um the the communities or it's 20 20 2050 it's 28 27 years from now right ah uh, yeah so <laughs> maybe we can have a better uh, transportation like uh, for the more secure so maybe the like a subway or something like that. So um, subway, I think subway probably um is gonna that, be well, that, but in, in the in the air probably because in the in the subway maybe not the subway but you know lines are are like connect different different cities like in Spain they have a special uh, train let's say that is from uh, it rides from uh, Madrid to Barcelona yeah. and in, in a very short time so maybe maybe it's here available already you know that you can travel in a in in a speed really fast from Santa Ana to La Union and because we are we are we are a small country, so maybe it could be uh, uh, through the country. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. It's better that that uh, the public transportation. But like society, we won't we go we gone. We are not going to change too much. As society, we're not going to change a lot. We're going to get. Maybe we're gonna. We are really late already for all the advances that we have nowadays around the world about technologies. But um, I mean, uh, it's gonna be a little bit different, of course, in some years, but not really different. I mean, maybe uh, nowadays. We got many technologies, but 
maybe not much as in another country. So we are a little bit back compared with another country. Yes. What about you girls? Oh, the word is sales clerk. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. I think the machine just will will replace them. For example, for our country, I I hope for that time we have a better transportation situation. Like we have really fast trains going, you know, <laughs> across the country. That will be really nice. And yeah, what you were saying about the currency, I think that it, it's a possibility, you know, that sometime we are not going to need any <laughs> more bills or credit cards, debit card or anything like that. But we are going to have like, uh, yeah, the Bitcoin, for example. Yeah, I don't know, David, what do you think about it? Uh, well, maybe uh, we will have some changes in the future like those one that you mentioned and, and Caesar too, like the transportation, I guess maybe just that kind of change, like, like changes like that, because about the robots, I don't think so, because <laughs> in the in the past, a, a lot, a lot of years, years ago, the people said the same, and now we are at that time, and we and are <laughs> still like that, you know, without those robots. Yeah, but uh, maybe we're gonna be uh, like the same, but just with uh, maybe some better trans uh, transportation. And uh, let's see, uh, maybe uh, I hope maybe. in the future, uh, that could be uh, easier to to like to uh, make trips to another countries, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, and uh, uh, about the banks, maybe we don't we don't have we uh, we don't have to go to the bank uh, in the future. Maybe just. Uh, using uh like online the uh, online uh, pages like you say like maybe chivo <laughs> yeah oh, uh, actually we we have already uh like uh, uh bank in linea or something like that from mm -hmm. the banks already yeah we could we have we can use uh the bank like that and i don't know maybe uh, I hope uh something uh interesting to my to my daughters in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about about education. Talking about education. Yeah, maybe uh, like like uh we're going it continue growing without any possibility to get it. Maybe yeah. uh. There is a possibility that a, a, any of, of some of these problems could be solved and, and the country could be better in the future. But a, the country needs a, a lot of things <laughs> before to build that solution. I, I would yeah. like to think that everything could happen like... Um, magic <laughs> eh, yeah hechizo like <laughs> you know abra cadabra boom <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's that story that, that doesn't happen <laughs> and yeah and... yes that's true yeah i don't know if the problems could solve it yeah as you are saying and but I think that maybe we need to be more constant yeah, as society because obviously when we don't have like a plan for a long-term goal, it's like, it's... My, my house, it's marked. Well, that, that's what I, I'm planning, but 
I hope that it's, it come, it's coming real. And I hope you, you can get it. Thank you, thank you. So, um, what's what's another thing that you can? Well, the paperwork for the with the government. I think it is now. Now it's we are we are uh, we are making the, the the first steps to to achieve that. Um, but there is a long way to 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 go. Um, on the streets, I hope it, there's no more cables, for example, uh, air, air and uh, uh, visually cables, because in the in San Salvador, recently it was a, a big project that the, all the all the cables are underground, and I think that is going to be in whole country. That I hope because in Antigua Cucatlán in front of the U.S. Embassy. I, I, I think uh, uh, there is a project uh, making the, the, the underground, underground cables. And that's, a, that's great because you don't have a, that mess of cables and, 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 the, and, the, and the posts. And what else, what else? Oh, I, I hope. And in a few years, we can, with the with the with the the, the security now we have, I hope that we have a um, delivery from Amazon or Amazon and, and with drones. I Direct hope that, me to Salvador. Yes, yes. That's a good one. Yeah, that, that that's the thing I I hope because. You can you can buy whatever you want, whatever you need, and you don't have to wait until the 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 the, the companies that bring it from the United States uh, it takes the the time they want. Yeah, that's a good one, and I hope that we can have it someday because it's a necessity necessity. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, hello. hello. So hello. let me ask you, what word did you discuss in? Uh, I need two volunteers to give me your answer about uh, what do you think is going to be El Salvador or the world or the country in a few years? Luis, go ahead. Uh, I hope in, in the country uh, the disappears whole cables and and the air, because it is a mess when you see a lot of cables and and in the posts. I think and, and in San Salvador it was a it was a big success when they when they get underground all, all the cables. You now you can see the the buildings and and, and all stuff without that visual contamination. That's so I, think, I I hope that that's that's the one thing that I hope from from the future in Salvador. Okay, super good. I like it. What about somebody else who can give me another point of view about the war or El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, go I ahead. Was, I was thinking. I was thinking that it will be more roads in the street mm -hmm. and like bypass over roads and like one, two, three levels because we were we will be a lot of people and the country is very small so we have yeah. to realize that we need more streets but <laughs> the cars and the traffic and i i was thinking about the movie i don't know if you've seen it uh, the fifth element oh yes that they that the girl 
in the when we well she wanted to, to eat and she put a pill into the microwave uh -huh. and a whole turkey appeared and rice veggies and something like that mm -hmm. and i think that it will be like that <laughs> it's a possibility because the time flies and we don't have the time to do it anymore because right. we have to work like double the time because uh, there are will, will be more expensive mm -hmm. the groceries and all the stuff because it's high technology that's right I, mean, I i completely agree about what you said and actually i was uh, you see a picture here there is something about a printer it's kind of related with what you said because in the picture they have is a lie. I think they call 3G, right? 3D. 3D, okay. Or oh, 3D, the uh, basic printer. I had like a printer, but usually to print food, I guess you said, could be related oh. to it. use it like in a pill and just put it in the microwave. So who knows? It's a possibility that it's gonna have, we're gonna have. Oh, look at this one or flying cars as well. Look at this one. This suppose the flying cards. We had the computers and we had the other the prototype. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I can I I really would like to watch that kind of see that kind of situation. So yeah. let let me ask you and uh, let's switch a little bit the topic. And this is gonna be related with as well technology, but the technology in a specific area. So let me play the video and then you tell me what is it about. What kind of area is it? The nature of work has changed. The way we work has changed. The workplace has changed. At first, it was all about efficiency. Then productivity. Then connectivity. But what if the workplace was digital? An environment that knows you and adapts to your needs. Leveraging technology to reduce operational friction driving real-time value generation across the organization, enabling people to work fluidly and collaboratively, integrating teams regardless of where they are working. What if the workplace could be about efficiency and productivity and connectivity for a more human experience? Technology is driving the evolution of the workplace, and the workplace is driving the revolution of the employee experience. Leave the past behind. Experience the digital workplace by Deloitte. Okay, what is it about? What is the video? Technology in the workplace. Uh-huh. What she mentioned, what it mentioned. What was it? The evolution of <clears throat> the things, the, the, the important things in the workplace. Mm-hmm. Do you think that has the technology has helped or has basically been a, a, the opposite all the way around? It's have a, a decreased the process or do you think that has been be a benefit or not? Uh, yes, I think teacher. Uh, the, the digital technology helped all kind of people right now so before the pandemic may uh, for example if you have meeting okay we're going to meeting this monday to 8 30 a.m so we have the, the living room in the in the in the workplace you need to discuss your project you need to you need to show the report face to face mm -hmm. with uh with the the keyboard but right now you need to present in your in PDF in the in the in Zoom or or micro in my case I use micro Microsoft Teams every day. Uh -huh. But before I show you my report face to my boss face to face. Okay, I'm going to discuss this. We need to work with this. We need to work so hard for. But the all companies right now use uh, is we incre increase with the the. In your in your workplace, in your activity, mm -hmm. but it is really nice. But sometimes very important to have meeting face to face because we need to 
declare, you need to say something, okay, we need to work with this, we need to change this, mm -hmm. and make your, I think it's, it's evolution by now with this. Okay, so let me ask you a question related with what you said about the meaning. Do you think that creating this digital era or digital, we can say like, a, I don't know, we can say like a environment or something like that. Do you think that we are creating like unfriendly people or we are creating people who doesn't want to talk with other or have real communication or real a relationship with somebody else like you have watched there are some videos in china about china where they look the otakus i don't know if they is otakus or <laughs> who, are, who are the ones who doesn't want to go outside and talk with anybody is not the otakus mm, i think it depends yes. because otakus is a person who wants who likes the asian culture and in general uh -huh. But I don't think it is. It has to be the the, the, the same with the people. It doesn't go out. Uh -huh. But there is one I remember that. Introvert. Ah, uh, which one? Maybe introvert. Ah, uh -huh, but there is basically. Emo. Emo. The emo. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Were you emo? Is somebody here was was emo? What? Someone. Really, Rosalba, <laughs> the emo Rosalba, really? Yeah, they were like this all the time. But I don't what know about, why. Were you? No, I'm just too happy to, <laughs> to play. <laughs> okay, but well, yeah, basically yeah, but they, they were serious. Uh -huh. They were like depressed people, mm -hmm. and they only listened to to music that it was depressed. Yeah, and actually, that's the point that, I mean, in the past, we didn't have technology, but we have emos. In the present, you have noticed there are less people in the streets, more people are creating a virtual life, like in China, and they don't want to go out, they don't want to have real friendships. They prefer to have virtual life. If you are playing Free Fire, your friendship is there. Now, in the workplace, they create that. So I'm going to show you something first, and then you give me the answer. So let's see. Uh, 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 Mailing, are you there? Miss Marroquin? Mailing. OK, Alicia, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. OK, can you read it, please? <clears throat> You read the pro, uh, Maurice read the cons, okay? Okay, pros, improve efficiency, saves time, better communication, reduce zero crime risk. Okay, very good. Uh, Mao? Cons, extreme dependability, expensive, shortage of jobs, malfunction. Okay, malfunction, very good. Malfunction. What is shortage? Of job, what is that? Mm, maybe uh, it's oh. Uh -huh, somebody, somebody. Yeah, I was going to say that maybe less people will be needed to do the jobs. Okay, you are completely right. Actually, that's the word. Okay, so let me ask you. We're gonna have an activity right now, and we're gonna have a debate. What is the debate about? Easy. So let's see. Uh, Roxy, can you read it, please? Uh, one person disagree about technology and wants the old gadget over methodology. Okay, very good. And let's see, Jonathan, can you read the other one? The other person agrees about technology and wants the new gadgets of method methodology. Methodology. Oh, what is the Methodology. Uh -huh, okay, very good. So we're going to have one person agree and disagree about technology. Uh, well, one agree, one disagree. Now, keep in mind one thing. Uh, we're going to have the area in your, uh, in your um, personal life and in your workplace. Why is necessary, why not? So let's make the 
the pairs here already. I have some people here. So Mauricio, we have Peter and Jenny. So pom, 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 pom. let's see. Mauricio, you, let's see. Huh? Who is more controversial? Okay, Mauricio, you're going to be agree. Okay, you say yes to technology. And Jenny and okay. Peter, the opposite. Okay. okay. Miss Marroquin, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, and Rocio, right? Rocio? Yes, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Rocio, you say no to technology, and mainly you say yes to technology. Okay. Okay, so I want to see that fight. Okay, so. Honestly, I agree, but disagree at the same time. <laughs> so this is going to be your moment to convince Miss Barroquín to no technology, okay? <laughs> Let's see, Samuel, you are going to be, Jonathan, agree, Samuel, disagree, and Roxy, agree. Hello. Okay, next is going to be Cesar, Luis, and Cindy. Cesar, disagree, no way, I'm sorry, uh, Luis and Cindy disagree, and Cesar agree. Next is going to be, this is going to be super good. It's going to be for uh, Kaylin and Catherine. You disagree? And Salvador and Rosalba agree. Alicia and Sylvia, are you there? And David? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, it's going to be, let's see, David and David disagree. And Alicia and Sylvia agree. Bum, bum, bum. Remember, you have to think the two areas. One in your personal life, in your, uh, in your, ah, oh, what is the word? I forgot it. I'm sorry. It's the, ah, uh, I forgot. But this is like the real, in your, in your everyday life. And the other one is going to be with, about your workplace, benefit or, disadvantages about that. Are you ready to fight? Yes. yes okay, teacher. remember you had to convince, give yes. very good argument, not like yes, because I say no, you have to give very good arguments. So guys, you're going to have maximum seven minutes to discuss about that. So let's do it. Hello. 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 Hello, Carlita. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. Are you going to be able to participate? Yes, yes, yes. No. Okay. In your case, you're going to be disagree, okay? Let me give you a group. Give me one second. Jennifer, are you there? Implement technology in this area to change it. Yeah. Who against me? My <laughs> thing uh, that technology is. <laughs> <laughs> we really want to suck. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, okay. I think that technology is not necessary, Salvador, because why to change the way that we are actually right now? I think it's very, very easy for us, and we are like very know, we, we know very well to do the things without technology so why why we have to complicate us you know okay i yeah. i don't agree with you because having the technology is a quick access to information and you 
facilitated the learning, maybe for your kids or maybe to our jobs. Because if I don't, if I can't do something, I go to the internet and I search it, and they will teach me how to do it in a in a very easy way. So you have to make sure that you are in the right place and you can learn about it. And then you have to provide in the inter entertainment to you and you have to, a lot of information in the computer that you can, that you can search and you, and they will guide to you the things that you can do. And that will apply for your job because there are so many courses nowadays that you well sometimes you you can pay for them and sometimes it's for free and that's one of the advantages of technology there is something new there is something new and and now your cell phone or the equipment the technology that you bought uh, it's now um, old because there is something new and you have to 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 expand to expand uh, you have to um to have money to buy it and stay with the latest thing so i guess that promotes the 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 expanding of money without knowing that you need to to save it and not lose it in things that can change very quickly. What about you, Jenny? Okay, uh, well, I disagree about technology because it can be very destructive. If we think about uh, that many people that have been into trouble because someone is still their, um, you know, their personal information um there are many cases where people has for example go into the personal information and steal the money from the bank or any kind of you know things with personal information also it can lead to health problems as well because people now can just stay like laying down on a bed or in a couch using their phones or their computers and there is not that much of exercising. So people is getting sick, even um, not just like uh, physical problems, but also some people is getting depressed. It, it's not like cell phone, computer, etc. So only when they need it and they look for a better brand, like it's not too expensive, but it has the same function and maybe uh, maybe the components are stronger than others so in that way it can it can have long life at uh, the product but in waste less money so i think it's uh, it's not almost all the time it depends what kind of person and what kind of product you buy okay yeah. what about you roxanne I think uh, in every aspect of our life, technology facilitate and make us be, make us do the, the less uh, effort to, to accomplish a, maybe a activity on work or in your, in your kitchen, in your everyday. And it's really helpful. Um, even for, for you know for uh, for cooking it's easier when you know the gadgets that can make you do faster and uh, that help people that work in that area and thinking about about work maybe you have um, a business that you need to do an inventory Imagine those days when you had to do it by hand. It was really difficult. It was less, um, less exact, less, 
because um, nowadays you just use your computer and you you took that's true actually i think that maybe uh the new generation has less self uh has less um personal contact with other people and that's something to be mm -hmm. worried about because how they going to improve their personal skills and the soft skills how gonna they do that yeah, if because they don't they will... attention from each other or mm -hmm. if they even can talk with each other without feeling um like near or depressed because they use many technology much technology yes. that's something to i think that a good example Mm -hmm. A good example could be like in Korean, eh, like in Korea, eh, they are like just, eh, they do not have many social activities as we do. Eh, so they are like having, or they should, well, they they usually had some problems eh, about what you were saying, depression. They were uh, they didn't have enough social contact with other people so uh, maybe it's it's good that we still have a different ways of contact but maybe it has to be like regulated for different kind of people if you at least to me i think it will be better if we can turn back in time and have less technology yes of course it can help because of the technology we can be in touch now like talking of course but the other thing is that if we keep doing this the new generation um gonna lose the real feeling to have a person in front of them like seeing their faces like also reading the expression in their faces of mm -hmm. others that's something really to be worried about because um, I don't know if you if you do that, but there's some people it's really good reading other expressions. Like I just seeing someone, they can see she's happy, she's sad, there's something wrong, it's happening something on him or whatever. But if we keep doing using this, we we're gonna lose the real touch to feel the skin, to see their faces, to to hear the real laugh about others. Of yeah. course, we can um, keep uh, having technologies for work, but only for work, not for communicate. Because you're gonna lose um, the real contact in real life. Yes, actually, I think that also technology has helped us uh, to get or to be, um, to have the opportunity to be uh, like you can um, access to the information in a more like deeply way than before because uh, before we had to like try to find some books and some uh, other information that it will be a little bit difficult or it was a little bit difficult by trying to search a, a topic and by now, uh, with the technology, uh, we can um, like find any kind of information in just one uh, like click or something like that. So it helps us, but it also I think that uh, cool. Maybe the airports, of course, mm -hmm. the airports are, are like this place of technology, and if it doesn't exist that wouldn't happen so fast as well. So I, from my point of view, maybe maybe the technology could solve a problem that it created by itself. So after all, when we talk about the, the, the thing that you were mentioned, and maybe you can remember a little, you can remind me um, what you were saying about the, that technology, what was so, what, why was so, so good, Salvador? Mm, well, another thing that I was thinking about, it was just imagine go, uh, get home, and just with your voice, just start to turn on the light, 
and the TV or maybe open your fridge and see what you can eat. As easy as that, it would be a dream. And this is thanks to the technology. That's in my case because I, I really I am a tech man and I will I will have to have those things. And I think that life is gonna be easier, practical and comfortable. That's another good point. Another advantage of, of technology is the medical care and all the services. Because during the pandemic, there were so many doctors that they were afraid of the virus and they they invented the 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 appointment of the doctor online and that was very good because they will see the 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 patient without the contact and without the risk that they were going to have the virus so i think that it was a new a new services that the doctors are giving and without technology, like it was, it was like better because if there's no technology, nothing going to happen. And with the, all the medical care, the vaccines, they were appear just very fast because of the technology. Yeah, well, I think that maybe um, technology, from my point of view, because I disagree with that, it's like, that is something really contrary to the nature and contrary to God. And for example, when we talk about the the how the technology can help the the society, but at the end, when we think about the atomic bombs, the guns, and the toxins in water, the COVID nineteen itself. So this is just to mention some of the technology that are used uh, for the damage of the human beings. I think that they have been designing with only one purpose and it is to kill as many humans as possible. So technology also can amplify violence and this violence has become systemic. So part of the um, agenda is to build into the nature of these systems like an evil force. And that's why I don't think that the technology can be a good thing because it is like, they make us feel that the technology is good, but the technology can can but come it, or have be, have become to something that can solve an issue that they created by themselves. But technology, well, I think that any uh, line, uh, I I I use line, I I used line, I use a uh, Viber. I use Tango. I remember this application. Yes, they were like WhatsApp. I just remember what about Line. Line was very nice. It's yes. a good application. Yes. Line. Another think, application. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think the most iconic things about Line is because it has a lot of stickers. So yeah. I think was the the most iconic, and that's why people used to use that a, a little bit a, often. Yes. But no, they... but it didn't, it didn't last too much, right? Yes, was no, it was just a hype, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that in Play Store. <laughs> My boss, because last week he was, he lost uh, the monitor, the other monitor, and he okay. was telling us he can work without two monitors. So I can be agree with him for that because I can work with uh, the monitor only for the computer. So in that, ca that kind of situation, I am disagree with him because of that. Okay. I don't need two monitors to do my work. It's a lie. It's, that's, that is a lie. <laughs> that is a, I, he yeah. doesn't want to work in that time, I think. Yeah, but and, and. it depends of the kind of work. And my case, when I lost my computer, is uh, or maybe it's no 
we don't have internet because we need internet to go to the software. Well, I I take the time to do the my my archives because I have a lot of paper to to organize. So I invest my time on that on that. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You depend of the devices, right? Yeah. yeah, it depends on the position. Yeah, but in the past, nobody depends of that. Uh, uh, no matter if they are accounting or not, they, are conti they continue working in <laughs> papers, you know? Yeah. People, people in, on that time uh, had a great, uh, great... Uh, Calligraphy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We we gotta go back. Thank you, Dave. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. So let me ask you personally. Well, let me give the conclusion. Personally, somebody here disagree about the technology. No. Anybody? Mm -hmm. No teacher. Okay, just maybe just me. I mean, I like technology, but I'm still old fashioned. I, I'm not get used to, to computers. I don't get used to, to smartphones. Even though you know what, um, I love technology, but I'm not too tech like that kind of people. Okay, for example, if you ask me, I don't have a tablet because I don't understand why it's necessary a tablet. So I'm still working. Maybe I'm still being an old-fashioned girl. I think um, I am. Uh, I am a disagree with little things. Mm -hmm. I was talking with uh, Roxana and with Jonathan. Mm -hmm. uh, the all kind company that produce cell phone devices. Mm -hmm. I I I I talk about cell. Phone. If you have a use your cell phone, but is your cell phone work very well? Mm -hmm. you don't, it's not necessary to change your cell phone, but this company create another cell phone, just fix it a little things, but all the people, ah, I need to buy the new Samsung Galaxy, I need to buy the new uh, Huawei or, or Xiaomi or iPhone, mm -hmm. but oh, I need to be in top of mind. You know, if you have a, this cell phone, I have a, a good person, or, but it's, it's not necessary because you create these devices and you recycle these devices then other devices That's but you right. need to pay i think is is controversial but yeah. if you if you if you have money if you be happy buying the cell phone get it mm -hmm. but you can with your money you need to buy something more important for your life for these little things i'm disagree for not for the technology uh -huh. Just for the merchandising, for marketing, because okay. introduce this information in your head. In your head, yeah, that's, that's right. And I completely agree. Actually, uh, a few weeks, days ago, basically, I was fighting with somebody in Instagram, and there was a video about uh, the. There was a boy talking about the new generations and old generations, and he was talking that the old generations or criticize the new generation because we call them the crystal generation first and this is not their fault the crystal generation that uh, that we have traumas traumas and we have some difficulties in the past and actually i reply about that i was talking about the i just said uh, the new generations needs to have a cell phone or the lady or the you know the top of the best the, the high tech in order to feel better and as you said they if you have the money do it but we were talking about that kind of situation and you i mean in my case i don't know why but being a online teacher has been very controversial for me i have been working uh, previously in the since the last year to become in a online teacher because it was difficult for me to be, uh, to think, to teach without touching or without 
uh, I mean, to a different kind of the activities. But I'm getting it, but I'm still like an old person working on that. So yeah, it's a very controversial topic. But let's, I'm gonna change a little bit this activity. So I'm gonna give you one minute and I need that you tell me as many what you can see here. You can recognize some of these things and what is it? Pokemon. Uh -huh. uh, South Park. Pokemon, South Park, Star Wars, Star Wars. Wars. Um, <laughs> Adventure, Adventure Time, Ninja Turtles. Mario Bros. Papa La Papa La Papa University. Adventure Time. Actually, anybody mentioned this one? Who is this? Tasmania. Aha, and this is for the Looney Tunes. Excellent for the Looney Tunes all generation guys so now let me ask you a few questions and i need that you discuss about that first uh let's see Imer, can you read the first question okay tell me tell me about your last vacation where do you go what do you do okay very good louis next uh, who was your first crush your first crush Okay, very good. <laughs> uh, let's see, Roxanne, can you please read the next one? Chitara, it was Chitara. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, what I did you eat that. for your last meal? Okay, Salvador, the next one. Tell me about what you did for the last 24 hours. Very good. Cesar, next. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. What was the your best memory from when you were a child. Very good, Mauricio, next. When was the last time you went to a movie theater? What did you see? Okay, good. Next, uh, let's see, Jonathan. Hey, what, what did you watch on TV last weekend? Okay, very good. Next, Miss Vidas. What was the first concert you went to? Okay, and the last one for Alicia. Are you there? Name some of the cartoon that you used to watch. Okay, very good. So you're going to have uh, two rounds in order that you can go and talk about. This is about you, remember? Uh, this is your own experience. You can give us your point of view. I'm gonna give you four minutes to go and talk with uh, with your partner about it. Okay, I try to ask and answer as many questions as you can. See you. Can you send the, uh, the picture, the image. Sure, please. give me one second. Okay, bear with me. Can you double check? Could you? Okay, there you go, Luisita. Luisita is in the game. There you go. Okay, see you in four minutes, okay? Yeah. Hello. Hey. <clears throat> well, by the way, how are you? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. Uh, I forgot. Uh, how are you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, I'm doing good, thanks. How are you guys doing? That's nice. In my case so far, so good. Um, okay, so you want to tell me something about your last vacation? Where did you go? What did you do? Okay, sure. Well, uh, the last year, to be honest, I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I spent my whole vacation at home, but the year the year before last one, I went to Guatemala with my co-workers and we stayed there for three days, I think. And we had just such a great time uh, going to know different places around. 
and going to eat to nice restaurants. And we also have some chocolate in a like little uh, place where they made the chocolate. It was a nice experience. Um, let's see what else. Um, we, we had with us two little kids and we took them to a museum. And yeah, that was pretty much what we did. What about your last vacation? How was it? Uh, my last vacation I just went I just went, went with my girlfriend's family I just went we was young. we just went to the beach and spent some time together I think uh, I think it was uh, great because we could talk uh, too much so cold there and uh... After that, we bought some chocolate because there was like a chalet or a cafeteria there and we bought some a little bit. It was so uh -huh. cold, but you don't have idea how beautiful was the sky. You could feel the stars so close. And also, uh, the, the day, it was a big moon for us. So it was, it was amazing. Oh. <laughs> And oh my then God, I, I haven't had you. Uh -huh. I invite you to do it because it's so cool. I will, I will. <laughs> yeah, and then that, that's the house part. The other part was in the You could do doing San Salvador, I guess. Okay. And <laughs> you, Sam? And my last vacation, uh, I my last vacation was in... In January, I went seven days to Mexico City. Uh, this is my second time travel to this country. I have uh, just seven days because I travel with low cost. Just I don't I don't uh, I'm a person that I I try to save money, but I don't spend a lot for travel. But I get a reservation in the in ho in the hostel, and this hostel, what is like, um, uh, you can you can take your bed with another another guest in the same room for six people. That is more really cheaper, and I explore it to the different places to Mexico City. It's like uh, and it try. I think it's only because uh, um. Uh, my sister changed my life in, in a lot of uh, uh, things because when when she birthed, I remember I I I I had to take a lot of responsibilities in the ho the home, even if uh, if I was a, only a, a nine years old kid, and I don't actually I don't remember that like uh, something bad. Uh, be, even if well, I, I I get to 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 change my mind and a lot of things. Uh, but I, I think it was good for me because I had to I I, I had to uh, um, grow grow up faster than other than my friend. Um, but I don't have a, any regret about that, and I, I, I think that it's, it, it was good for for me because I, I to claim not very what it's not very very hard to claim. Yeah, actually, we did a a hiking, and oh. we started at the night. We start hiking <laughs> at seven p.m. <laughs> And yeah. we get it at the top of the volcano at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Yeah, it was a crazy thing. Actually, one of Four the hours walking. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it was such a crazy thing. But there are also transport. There are trucks where you can go through. But it. But you don't want it, to to do do like the hard 
way. <laughs> yeah, we say, oh, we're here, why not? <laughs> but at the, at the middle of the road, we were like, oh my God, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> what about yeah. the, the the view at night the view was such amazing i yeah. you know i was pretty tired a lot of <laughs> with a lot of tiredness but when i get at the top and we install or all the camping things then i just get onto the floor and look at the sky look at the stars and it was like yeah. I, I think that it, it deserves all the all the effort that we have put <laughs> the four hours hour working <laughs> yeah but it was amazing amazing I recommend you for real it's an, a, a yes beautiful I want to go but I don't have anything for camping they change already the streets the streets now are from uh, concrete mm -hmm. and before it was from, you know, like rocks. Yeah. So that changed a lot right now. Ah, nice. Yeah. So the next question, right? Who was your first crush? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Maybe now Salvador can answer first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even remember. I think, to be honest, I think I didn't have, I didn't have crush. Maybe from the cartoons when Not you car watch. I neither no. cartoon nor reality. To be honest, <laughs> yes. Um, uh, oh, maybe my classmate. Yeah, yeah, classmate. Yeah, typical beautiful little girl with a beam backpack and with a nice uh, uniform. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I told you it will be better. Like, I mean, because everyone in Nicaragua is like San Juan del Sur is like the big thing there right because they they, they do love uh, all the 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 experience that they could have there because of the pies and uh, like drinks and things like that because yeah. it, it's similar to 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 el tunco yeah it could be but there is mountain and beach together oh, oh yeah <laughs> carlita says she loves to drink um rum Really? Flor de caña. Is it flor de caña? Wow. <laughs> no. It's all flavor. Different In Nicaragua, it's very cheap. Yeah, it's <laughs> really. Yes. Interesting. Yes, because they, they, they produce the flor de caña. <laughs> we <Because>. should go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just let me close this uh, information, okay? Uh, just I want to say, the, where we have some phrases, for example, we have we are used to. Do you know what is the meaning for we are used to? Mm, yeah, we are accustomed to. I like uh -huh, we are adapted to something. Okay, this is the word mm. for used to. Uh, we had what is the difference between crash and break? Break is more like separate something, and crash is you know not separate but. Mm -hmm. A destruction, something like that. Uh -huh, like cards. We have yeah. a spell. Right. Okay, that's right. What about a spell? What is the spell? Uh, to say the letters, to compose a word. Okay, and also there's another, okay, there's another meaning. When you say, I'm going to spell you like no boyfriend wish, for 10. Uh -huh. Like a like curse. Uh -huh, like a curse. Uh -huh, that's right. What about, what is the pass of loose? Lost. 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 Okay. Lost. Uh, what do you think about I am disagree? I am I agree? What is happening here? Without the end. Wrong. That's <laughs> wrong. I disagree. I, I, I agree. Okay. Uh-huh. I agree and I and I disagree. Like in Spanish, we use it, but in English do not. Okay, because it doesn't exist. That's the only thing that you have to remember, okay? 
Uh, we're used to agree and disagree. Okay, yes, teacher. So remember, if you owe me any homework, please send me the, the confirmation about the homeworks. If you owe me any evaluation that I didn't receive or by any reason is not in your grades, let me know uh, between today and tomorrow, please, because I need to make sure I have all of the grades. So, woohoo! So, see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. See you now. Bye, Bye. 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 B